Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Take MRI, and this is a patient who complains of knee pain, just generalized knee pain, and the orthopedic surgeon didn't know what to do, so they wanted to get an MRI to see if there was something to fix. And on this view, we have a common finding here in the upper part of Hoffa's fat pad. Here's the central part, Hoffa's fat pad here. You see the femur, tibia, patella, patellar tendon. And on this view, we notice one thing. The patellar tendon looks really long, so this is congenitally elongation of the patellar tendon mild patella alta. Their knee is in a little bit of flexion, so the patellar position looks about right, but since the knee's flux, it's pulling it down a little bit. If they had a straight knee, it would uh, appear a little bit higher. So they do have some mild patella alta, and if we go medially, the Hoffa's fat pad looks great. If we go laterally, though, right here, confluent edema in the superior lateral margin of Hoffa's fat pad right there. So this is a case of really prominent fatty impingement, really classic. We all see this. Uh, we also see this on the axial images here. You can see this confluent edema, more pronounced than uh, usual. It's a great example of it in the superlateral aspect of Hoffa's fat pad. This patient also has the other findings of a developmentally prominent lateral trochlear ridge here. Often these patients have patella alta. They have this uh, uh, sometimes lateral trochlear ridge being prominent like this. Sometimes they have uh, subluxation of the patella. This patient just has this prominent ridge and the congenital elongation of the patellar tendon, and then again this confluent edema compatible with fatty impingement. The abnormal stress right in this area causes pinching or impingement of that fat, and everything else looked great in this patient, so I believe this was the cause and their symptoms.